Bob, you're a dance minor. <laughs> but I know what you really want to be when you grow up. And for the purpose of this poem, I'd like you to pretend to be a six-year-old version of yourself, Bobby. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Yes. <laughs> you're in it already. You're in it already. You're a champ. You're going to be on the Zelda screen, kid. Okay. <laughs> Killing it. So, this is a poem about hopes and dreams. And Bob has told me what he wants to do, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's a challenging profession that you've selected. And you're serious that you want to do this. You're serious. I couldn't take it if you were leading me on. You know, if you want to do this, you have to work until your six-year-old heart explodes in your chest. You can't rest until you're so tired you want to melt right into the ground. You get it? Okay, Bob, if you want to grow up to be a robot, you cannot fuck around! <laughs> So you found a lucky penny, and you think you're on your way to being a metal man. But this ain't no wishing well, Abe Lincoln. It's your grandma's loose change jar, and it's gonna take you a lifetime to fill it. You gotta think like a robot. You gotta talk like a robot. You gotta move. You gotta squawk. You've got to rock like a robot. That's it. Bob, this ain't no jolly wally robo magic go go gadget habit. I didn't feel anything. It's lost lovers, lost weekends, lost hair. Bob, but if you search your soul and you find you were cut from the right kind of sheet metal, you better whisper in my ear exactly why you want this. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, it's true. But it's, being awesome is like incidental to the whole lifestyle, right? I'm talking never eating leftover split pea soup again. Cause you've got all of your favorite meals loaded onto data cards and every time you want one you wipe your memory and it's just like the first time. You can move chess pieces with your mind. Microwave burritos with your behind. <laughs> you can play movies on your eyelids while you're falling asleep, which you don't even have to do because robots don't have bedtimes. Bob, you are a freaking bulletproof cement mixer. You can unscrew your arm at parties and use it to tap assholes like Bob on the shoulder. You can soup yourself up with hydraulics and bounce with cholos in the parking lot. And if someone makes fun of you, it's cool because a robot doesn't cry, even though you can still feel deeply. Bob, you can do anything you want to do. You don't stub your toe on crap. Crap stubs its toe on you. <laughs> Have I made my point? It feels like you're patronizing me. <laughs> because when you want something so bad you can crush it in your claw, you gotta make a decision. Are you gonna grow up to be CEO? You're gonna grow up to see 3 po <laughs> I know you, Bob. You were the kid who picked the silver and gold-colored pencils first and rubbed them down to nubs before you reached for anything else, and I do not give a crap if you're still in first grade, dude. That's what separates you from the future firemen and astronauts of America. Well, today's career day, Chief, and they're gonna go around the circle in your first grade class, and you will get asked last, and they will laugh, but remember, Bob, you got two big brass lug nuts. Okay? And, and, and a mug that's anything but cute. It's a little cute. No homo. No homo. Goes the robo. A mug that's anything but cute. But if three times they tell you no, three times you tell them, does not compute. And someday you'll be data technology. And first, they'll use your butt as a fancy antique ashtray. And then when you get robot hiney cancer, they'll strip you for your parts, limb from limb. But you have no mother to cry to because robots don't have mothers and your programmer died decades ago. <laughs> but if you can live with that harsh reality, <laughs> the good times will be good. And they'll sustain you. Why should you listen to me anyway, Bob? I'm no tin man. Not even a bucket of rusty bolts. I'm just some tubby, washed up dumb schlub flesh sack.
people, all I can say is, There's a reason I wasn't calling the kettle black. It's cause I'm calling the kettle cousin. Son of my auntie, the oven. Tell them the living to think they're above them to lick my nonstick metal crack. I can take a ton of trial and put out, flip it to a final foul ball. Debated the way to convert a bit of bed, did it with a smile, the body have not advised, but modified to codify. A son of us, and I don't always try to work out. Yada, yada, yada. Got a mighty, mighty metal man, I'm not a manic, but he bent a lot of time to pull pictures from the static. Capiche, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about dreams, asshole. <laughs> Earmuffs, motherfucker. <laughs> Bob, this is not a choice! But if you were born with a control panel hardwired to your cranium, sally forth for every starry-eyed nobody who followed the bright lights to Broadway, for every wolf that ever howled at the moon, Bob, you be the droid that fills the void. I can see the glint in your eye, little gearbox. I can see the sparkle in your chest plate. <laughs> People are gonna call you crazy. A dreamer. Stanley Steamer. <laughs> They'll say little boys growing up to be robots isn't proper. Well, Bob, you bite your tongue real hard. There you go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and you remember why blood takes a little bit. Like copper. Bob, everybody!